Well, I mean, you know, it's it's overwhelming the warmth and, and support and it's just, you know, the love for Mamma Mia. And I hope everyone will be, you know, I feel the challenge to me was to capture that spirit and that magic that not just from the show, but the first film. And now I think this one has done that. I didn't think we'd be in Hammersmith, but no, I, well, I'm thrilled it's London. It's the home, you know, it's the home run here. It's the first big audience. And no, it was, there was no, you know, master plan at that point. So, um, yeah, everything with Mamma Mia has a kind of organic process and the time was right, I think. Well, that was the thing. I mean, the, the interesting thing for those that love Mamma Mia and know it is that we've gone back in time to a backstory that we know from, from the first film and how Donna Sheridan met those three men, how she went on her odyssey to Greece and her, with her friends. And then we go forward to nearly present day and that has a huge appeal to me. And the idea that we call Godfather 2 came from Richard Curtis, who I happened to call and say, do you have an idea? Because it's very difficult to make something to make, work with the songs and to bring back our wonderful original cast. So the fact that we could go back and forth in time was, I felt, you know, that was the moment. Oh, it, it's tough to cast the young versions because they have to be incredibly talented and step into huge shoes, really. But they were, they instantly kind of jumped out at us. You know, you have to be great at comedy. You have to be, you know, you have to sing great. Well, unlike, I, 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 can, can, I can confide to you, Say, Stellan, Pierce and Colin don't like dancing, but their younger selves had to be really good at it. <laughs> to me, the importance of the ABBA songs is always about the storytelling, about creating the, the stories, uh, the songs and the stories go together. So Knowing Me, Knowing You was obviously going to be very important as a breakup song. Um, what Meryl's going to sing was very important and a, a discussion with Meryl too. And, and then, of course, you know, out of the out of the park Fernando with Cher, which actually is the one song we never managed to work into the show or the last film, because the lyrics are slightly bonkers, but old Parker who wrote the script made it work and Cher certainly is, um, you know, to hear her singing that song, it was as if it was written for her really. I think there's a there's something that certainly puts quite innocent, but everyone can, I think everyone, everyone hears those songs, everyone has them in their DNA. There's something kind of, they are little stories in themselves, but there's a sense of nostalgia, and that's what the movie is. We all want to be on that summer romance. We all want to go on that backpacking holiday, and we all want to sing those songs in the shower. So it was a kind of, I think they take, they're, they're, for me, there's one for every occasion. <laughs> Thank you.